Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. Today, with Captain Foster. Uh, interestingly looking like... Wow, you, that looks really weird. Um, Foster? Hello! Sleeping on duty is not allowed, you know that? Marked in your file. All right, let's move on. And cutscene. Do not stop power. But my people in stasis will die. Just a minute. You're the ones who trapped us on your ship and what? attacked us. What? You, you invade us. Believed you were the others. Tried to contact you. Communication methods very different. You attack us. They were trying to communicate. We capture your people, analyze them, learn your language. We of Ethereans have been trapped here 25 of your soul standard years. Crew very large. Colony ship. Our people in stasis stay alive. A colony ship? Must be a sleeper ship for long voyages. Yes, long journey. New home. Never will see it now, we fear. The forge has us no escape. Forge? We're sorry for the misunderstanding. For killing some of your people. Some is a only acting in self -defense. very weak word in that you sense. Have not killed. When injured, our people returned to stasis. Regenerated. Your people too, not killed in stasis. Analyzed. Those pods. On behalf of my people, I apologize. We thought the vessel was abandoned. We only wanted information from your computer. We're trying to find our way out of here. Our knowledge is yours. Request and receive. We are allies. We will lower defenses. You may return to your vessel. We'll find a way out of here. You'll get to your new home. Foster to Voyager. Lieutenant, it's good to hear your voice. What happened over there? I'll explain when we get back. Let's just say we've made an ally. But we have injuries. We need to beam directly to Sigbay. Stand by. <laughs> He's freaking out. <laughs> Sigbay has the wounded. We're ready to beam you back now. Well, Chell wasn't wounded at all, was he? Maybe his pride. Well, that's just that. Renewal. Well, that was short. It was a difficult mission, Monroe. It looked pretty bad out there for a while. But we got the job done. Have the doctor look at you and then join me in Hazard Ops. I'll be assembling the rest of the team for debriefing. Yes, All sir. right. I'll do that. I don't care if your hemorrhoids are chronic. There are no medical deferments. What? I, I never want to talk to you again, Chell. Can you hear me up, Doctor? Doctor? Ah, Mr. Monroe. Your injuries seem to be rather superficial. Dermal regeneration will not be necessary. Though you have some mild skin irritation, perhaps you would like an analgesic cream? Uh, whatever. A cream is that in your thingy? All right. Thank you for healing me, Doctor. By the way, interestingly enough, um, the aliens try to communicate with us. You're lucky you really? So clawing their way into our flesh was their way of saying, "Hello, we don't want to." to destroy you. We don't want to hurt you. We only want to communicate. Right. So the next time I'm gonna communicate with someone, I'm gonna throw my fist into his face and say, I only want to help you. Right. I'm gonna remember that for next time. Hi. Making conversation, eh? Hi. Moving by. Nope. 
Nope. Probably in here. Yay. Okay. Four hazard operations. Yep. There I wanna go. Union. Open. Or just walk through it. Another option. Nope. I guess we have to go in here. There we go, hazard ops. Yeah, or maybe not. Maybe not. Um. Yeah, I think he was saying lounge, so we better head over there right away. He said lounge. Uh, yeah. Rigel Seven was tough, but we only lived there for a couple years. Oh, Neelix. Neelix. You think if you come back joking? later, I should have Probably some free time. on Vulcan, where any hint of emotion yep. is frowned upon. So you don't have free time hey, because you look at this uh, replica. Watch it. Yep. All right. So, how's the Oralite cobbler? Delicious, thank you. You sound very convinced. Excuse me, Mr. Chang, your carnalith stew. Great, thanks. And you sound you know, very convinced as well. You really didn't have to hand make all this for us. Well, just because you're on duty doesn't mean you should be forced to eat replicator rations. Thank you, Neelix. Well, a good guy as ever. Good old Neelix. Gerard. Perhaps we can commiserate at a later time? And I have... Whoa. Um... This almost look... Actually, this looks funny. Like... She would actually be lying on that table, like, these are her legs, like, ooh, I want you, Chang, ooh, so much. But actually, her feet are down there. <laughs> well, so much for the Quake 3 engine. Pretty darn awesome. So, report to locker room. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, where did you guys come from? I still can't believe we were all nearly killed last time. You weren't even yeah. hurt. They messed us up pretty good. Well, that's not really fair. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't have all the information. Hey, Monroe. Hey, yes. Beesman. Did you hear anything about where they're sending us next? No. I heard Chakotay and Tuvok talking about the scavengers. Oh, yeah? I ran into Kim. He was going over the data we brought back. He says they had some data on that machine that brought us here. Hey, Monroe. Word has it I'll be coming along in the next mission. Some kind of stealth operation? Okay, it's, it's interesting to note that none of these guards actually knows anything. But the they speculate room. on everything. Okay, briefing room it is. Commander Chakotay. With the information your team retrieved, we've been able to learn a few things about our situation. And that might be. This is called the Forge. It's generating the dampening field that keeps Voyager and the other ships trapped here. Do we have any idea what's running that thing? Or why it's here? No. The Ethereans had no detailed information about it. For all we know, it could be a simple machine. But our main concern right now is finding a way out of here. That is right. This is Isodecium, a rare isotope that doesn't seem to be affected by the dampening field. Alana thinks she can use it to get repairs done and bring main power back online. Then, hopefully, Voyager can escape. The sensor info from the Ethereans shows that there is Isodecium nearby. Unfortunately, it's located here. What is that? The Scavenger's base of operations. Pretty done, also. These good are the though. Scavengers. A loose alliance of survivors from the other starships trapped here. Oh yeah, that wasn't they survived a by raiding other ships for supplies. Klingon in that pod, like it was a mail on actually. Yeah. The Isodecium was most likely stolen from other ships. Looks like they used some oh, of God, it, Hirogen. but most of it is scattered around their base. They probably don't know of its energy potential. <laughs> Even humans, nice. It's imperative that we get the Isodecium and get Voyager functioning again. We don't know what other surprises we'll encounter here, or what that forge has in store for us. Sensors show hundreds of scavengers on that base. All races we're familiar with. Klingon, human, Malon, and Herogen. 
We're a bit outnumbered here, so we've opted for stealth infiltration and retrieval operation. They seem to have a transporter inhibitor field, so a team of five will be shuttled to the base by Ensign Paris. Once there, Ken and I will set up an extraction point. Monroe, Telsia, and Odell will split up and retrieve three samples of the isodesium each. When you're done, you will make your way back to the extraction point. That's it, people. Now get prepped and report to the shuttle bay. Good luck, team. Thank you for the vote of confidence. And everybody but me is already gone. Nice. Commander, can I have a word with you? I'm still here. Right, seems the AI won't let me talk to him. Can I talk to you at some other point, please? Like, right about now. Commander Chakotay, I would like to talk with you. Commander. Let me guess, you're busy? Good work, Wire. Take this to the captain. Yes, sir. Monroe, good luck on the mission. Thank you, sir. Commander, do you need something? I don't know, maybe? Ooh. We just finished replicating the new hmm. compound grenade light. Well, wouldn't you say the grenade launcher is the perfect weapon for a stealth mission? Hmm. I guess it is. Cause blowing things up with grenade is always stealthy and silent. Oh yeah. Go to the shuttle bay. Okay. Wrong way, I guess. Because the turbo lift is here. Deck 10, shuttle bay. Departure. Let me ask, another warp could be probably coming in, like, close to being done with anything. And again, the ship is under very, very great damage and threat. I guess we need to go through here. 50-50 chance to pick the right door. Let's go here. Damn. <laughs> hey, Monroe, they're waiting for you down below. They're having some trouble with the docking clamps, but I think Salma and Lang are mm. on it. See what I mean? Always problems. I hope this, still, this ship is still on guarantee. Otherwise, you will have to pay a lot of millions of dollars. Or credits. Or didn't even Picard that uh, money is not a problem in the 21st century? Or 23rd century or whatever. I've already tried it five times. They're stuck. The controls must have been damaged in the attack. Oh, great. Lang to Paris. I'm down below, but there's a serious exhaust leak down here. I can't get to the overrides. Hey, Les. Can you send one of your men down there? If we can't get those docking clamps released, we'll be going nowhere fast. Sure. Monroe, you don't look busy. No, Get I just carry a phaser and around and do. might just shoot Mr. Paris, but otherwise I'm not busy at all. By the way, what's the difference between me and that Lang dude going down there? Like, I'm just the man for it? From the inside. You'll have to go around. Ah, shut up, Alana. Okay, I'm not gonna use the ladder then. Okay, I said I'm gonna use the ladder then. So what's with that base? Looks like a scrap heap. There we go. What is no count? There we go. Whoa. Explosions. Nope, nothing to shoot. Yay. Whoa, this guy looks like he's out. <laughs> Careful. That's highly compressed seroton gas. It's got to be over 500 degrees. I don't think even your hazard suit can protect you from that kind of heat. Whoa. Well, I guess it was good I dropped by. Because you weren't smart enough to go through that hatch back down there. Calm down. Good boy. Okay. So, um, when we come back, folks... We travel with the shuttle to some unknown planet. Uh, base, I mean. 
So, see you then, Federation officers.